Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and this is going to be a little bit more of a quick tip today. DaVinci Resolve 17.4 has just come out over the last couple of days and one of the features I'm most excited about is the ability to export markers on your timeline now as YouTube chapters. Now, this has been something for a long time when I've finished a video, I have to go back and watch it and actually mark down exactly where certain time points are and write them manually into YouTube. And now you can do this automatically with DaVinci Resolve 17.4. There is a slight bit of a catch and the catch is you have to upload it directly through DaVinci Resolve, which to be honest, given my past experience, can be good and bad. It's very convenient, but the downside is if you're doing something like I am in terms of comparing video quality and trying to upload it at the highest bit rate, it's not gonna give you that result. I would much rather choose my own custom export settings and just upload it manually. However, if you're just after the convenience, this is a really easy way to do it. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. All right, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve and I've got a bit of a timeline here at the moment. Basically what I wanna do first is just add some markers. This is very easy if you've done it before. It's literally just hitting M on the keyboard and I'm gonna do it just between these two videos here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this marker something. So shot two, and I'm gonna actually go back to the start and add another marker and then call this intro. Now that I've got those two markers, you can see they're actually the same color as well. This is actually going to be important. So when we head over to the deliver page, basically what you wanna do is you wanna head over to the YouTube preset. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I've got upload directly to YouTube ticked and that you've already gone into your settings under DaVinci Resolve and actually added your internet account for YouTube. Now, if you've got this all done, you should be able to upload your videos directly to YouTube. You can give it a title, you can give it a description. I'm just gonna call it Melbourne Test. And I'm gonna leave the description blank. Now, obviously what you wanna do is you wanna tick chapters from markers and you wanna go ahead and make sure you select the right color that you've used. Now, what's really great about this is if you wanna have multiple different colors throughout the timeline, you can do that and the different colors can represent different things. So if you actually use markers for another purpose rather than just chapter markers for your video, you can obviously separate them out, which is quite nice. You can then obviously choose the visibility and then you can go ahead and add it to the render queue. Obviously, once you hit render all, it's gonna go ahead and render that video. And then once it's done, it's gonna upload it directly to YouTube. All right, now that we're on YouTube, this is the page that I've got after I've uploaded the video. DaVinci Resolve has done this all for me. Obviously, I left nothing in the description and the thumbnail is just chosen at random. And you can kind of see that it's actually put the chapter markers in for me as a description. It wasn't there before, so if we jump back, you can see that it's not in this description here, but it's added it automatically to the description here. So going over to the video page now, you can see that we've got our chapter markers, which we can find up here. Shot two at 16 seconds, and it's all been done automatically for us. As I said, the downside is the potential uh, quality wise, and this might be a little bit lower doing it this way, especially if you're uploading something where you're testing out video quality, I would still recommend you go through the custom settings. But what's also really nice is if you go back to DaVinci Resolve, you can also create these chapter markers just automatically uh, from the video itself. So if I go ahead and call this Melbourne test and render it out, so if I go ahead and look at this test video file where we embedded the chapter markers, I can open it up in QuickTime and you can see that I've got those chapter markers here as well, which is really quite handy. I think this is gonna be great. Obviously these won't be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, YouTube relies on having it in the description. So make sure if you wanna have it done automatically through Resolve, you do that through the description, through the automatic upload through YouTube. But otherwise, should be all good to go and hopefully this saves you heaps of time. 